the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. What is that? So at the time we took it, it was the deepest, which means the most sensitive picture of the universe that anyone had taken. And it wasn't it wasn't really an original idea on my part. My predecessor as director of the Space Telescope Science Institute, Bob Williams, had really been the originator behind this. And he thought that with a telescope as powerful as Hubble, it would be worthwhile to just look at a blank spot in the universe and expose for a long time and see what was there. <laughs> and a lot of people criticized him for that, said, wow, it's a waste of telescope time. You don't, you know, it's just a fishing expedition. But it turned out to be one of the uh, most important things that Hubble did because prior to what he did, people thought that there would be nothing. I mean, that you know, you couldn't see anything until galaxies had formed. But it turns out that the way that galaxies were created or were formed in the early universe is they, they started small and they became big. And the Hubble Deep Field, the original one, was able to first see some of these fuzzy structures that no one had had thought they could see, and 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 they were there. Uh, and then by the time I came along, there were two, uh, I'd say, big innovations that we realized that made it compelling to go even farther. The first is that we uh, were going to put a new camera on Hubble, which would be much more sensitive than the old camera. So we knew we could do better than what uh, had been done in the Hubble Deep Field. But more importantly, the deep field was a pioneering effort that showed exactly kind of what was tantalizingly out there. And we could calculate that if we got much deeper, that is much more sensitive, we might get pretty close to what you would call the edge where there were no galaxies. So we thought that was worth a shot. And um, so the ultra deep field was an idea born out of that. Uh, I used uh, all of my director's discretionary time for a year. Actually, I cheated a little. I used a little bit more than a year. Uh, we exposed for a million seconds. And uh, just to fix ideas, I calculated at one point that Hubble Space Telescope time costs us about $10 a second. So that's a lot of, a lot of money devoted to it. And um, and it was a big success. We could see we could see much farther than uh, what the deep field had seen. We saw many many more galaxies. We saw lots of interesting structures. So it opened up a whole new era for astronomy.